I grew up without a biological father. I was I was told he left before my first birthday. I had abusive stepdads. Mm. Uh, you know, I had one for seven years. It was physically abusive. Another one for seven years. It was sexually abusive. Uh, I was kicked out of my house by the time wow. I was 13. Um, so just I had no father figures. And then by the time I was 30, my wife is like, hey, let's try to find your biological father. And I, the only two stories that I knew about my biological father was that he was a drunkard. That's what my grandma told me and that he liked to get into bar fights. So in my mind at 30, I'm like, I don't need to go reach out to this guy. It doesn't really sound like he has much to offer, you know? Um, and thinking back, I just had bad fatherly experiences. I can specifically remember one of my stepdads at the wedding of my mom's wedding with him. Like he's walking around and I can hear people ask like, oh, who's that kid over there pointing to me? And I remember him saying, oh, that's Becky's son. You know, so even to call them stepdads wasn't really, like they didn't never wanted to be my father. You know what I mean? I just didn't have a dad. So anyways, fast forward, I'm 30 something years old. Uh, I start to try to find my biological father. And actually I'm on the phone with Easy when I get a phone call and I'm like, I think this is him. Wow. So I hang up the phone with him and I answer and, it, and it's him. And, and the story shifted massively, essentially, he did not leave us. My mom sort of, she was an, she was an addict. She kind of pushed him out of our lives. Hmm. Uh, and he was looking for me for a really long time, just couldn't find me. So I meet this man, I go over to his house. He, they've got pictures of me on the wall. Uh, they would remember, he showed me a calendar. They would celebrate my birthday every year, count up my age. What a story. Wow. Uh, during Christmas, <laughs> they would remember me. The neighbors knew me by name. My, I have two little brothers. Their friends knew me. They were like this little family that was like waiting for their older brother to come home. Younger. My brother, who's 10 years younger than me, was getting married. He asked me to officiate the wedding. So we're at the wedding and we're turning the corner and every corner I turned, my biological father is throwing his arm around me saying, have you met my son? This is my son. And for the first time at 35, 35 years old I knew what it was like to be loved by a father the reason why I share that mm. story isn't just because it's a great story of reconciliation between me and my father it speaks to a greater story of our reconciliation to our father in heaven how could you be discouraged knowing that through the blood of Christ God the father has his arm around you saying this is my son this Amen. is my daughter